Maelstrom tier here, back in Punch Club, with all your favorite characters. You know, uh, Din Kong, Adrian, Chefman, the bear from Russia. Sorry, bear. And, uh, you know, I mean, I guess Maelstrom tier, or, or male, the characters instead. I'm not trying to think that this character represents me, because I certainly don't have any of that. Uh, maybe that, no, pretty much, it's like, maybe the gym shorts? No? I mean, I got a pair of Catherine boxers from the Special Edition. Those things are still good. I, am, I love those. Maybe just the Kamen Rider O's in me? I really need more goofy print underwear, you know? It's just, it's just kind of fun. Might, might as well enjoy it. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Probably just talking about your underwear. Not going to make it very uh, entertaining. I mean, it might make an entertaining video, but you know, it's not. Mind. It's not. I can, can't get very exciting there. Instead, what we need to do is train and maybe also do some like fighting and stuff. I was waiting just a little bit because now we've got enough money to uh, do another film. It's at least a little more exciting than just running on a treadmill for days on end. That said, ah, uh, we've got all day, and you know, we did just run out of love. We did just go full air supply, and we're all out of love, and I'm so lost without you. I I know you were right, believing in. Believing for so long? I don't, I don't know. See, it, it's air supply, but it's also uh, the main character in Sleeping Dogs doing it, but kind of terribly. And also the Me First and the Gimme Gimme's version, because I just love Me First and the Gimme Gimme's. From their really stupid antics on stage to just them in general. Usually I'm not a fan of like, hey, let's take a song and make it really punk, but it's like, hey, let's take an old song and make it like super energetic. Also just throw in random, like, almost references to old songs to the point where I heard, uh, I believe it, I believe the air supply thing starts with a, I want to say black flag uh, riff to where I heard that riff outside of it. And it was like, Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of love, and then I started singing. It's like, oh no, oh this isn't that at all. But once again, it's not the point. It's time for Aliens Four, more, yeah, bore. I don't, know. you know, I'm not paid to make, to write lines here about my alien conquest. At this point, I am starting to worry about that. Like, it's, it feels less about defending the Earth from an alien race and more like fighting around the galaxy with a male's frontier. Because, you know, it's one thing when the first movie, the aliens show up and we're like, let's fight. It's another thing when the fourth movie is the aliens show up and it's like, nah, I'm still fighting. Uh, we go on. Let's continue. Let's continue just to get out of this... the the state we're in. Uh, this guy's doing work. Although, granted, he's getting equal share back, if not more. But this is definitely a, a battle of attrition. Because we're trying to at least stay alive for the like first couple of rounds. I wouldn't say they're entirely just free wins, but, you know, we would like to get them without... It really sucks when we're at this ending ending spot, and you're like, exactly that happens, where you're like, no, let me hit you a little, drag you down. It's almost, uh... Did you end it with 14? Was that... That's a weird thing. I don't think I've seen that before. Uh... It's... You know, to be fair, this is kind of a fighting game, but not really. Uh, but it makes me think of a f survival mode on a fighting game where you're like, you are almost dead, please just let me live, stop hitting, like, stop getting these little pokes out. 
Perhaps less, uh, like, the only... I never, I haven't played Street Fighter V yet, so I don't know anything about the survival colors, though I know you can buy them now, which is kind of shady. Uh, so I really only know Tekken and what little I tried of the Blaze Blue uh, weird climb down the rank and also get like RPG stats. It was very strange, but it was neat. It was definitely a novel idea on that, like, survive for as long as possible. But I was like, I'd, I'd like to be here for the story, because it's the Guilty Gear Eyes, and I'd like to see this. And then I got into the story and went, Oh, I, I'm confused. I think I'm just going to go, because it, it's like, there's weird temporal junk going on, and this guy's that dude, but that guy's this dude. Maybe, maybe I should just, like, you, I don't, I don't really need to be here to it, because, like, it's fine. Uh, put these kicks on. Although, I'm wondering if this guy has a... Despite not having a block here, he's got a block. It's like... I guess in a way, maybe it's just that... Um, I mean, there's the block button. There's that block modifier. But I'm wondering if the rest of it now to this point is just like... If you don't have a block, that just means you don't have a special block. Uh... So I guess what we could learn to do... Yeah, this thing, hold on. I don't know why I've been mixing that up. That's been really bad. You are free to yell at me, everyone. But this one has a, you know, the hit gets you a better, the lowers the chance to block, which does kind of make that redundant in a way. Still very useful. Still a good conjunction kind of thing. It's like, you have a lower chance to block, but if you do, it doesn't matter because I'm going to still get you. So basically, I don't, yeah, you know, I don't care, alien man. Welcome to Earth. Again, oh, we're one point away. That is a shame. But it's not a shame that we can, like, just say whatever to. Because we can still talk to you and pay twenties of dollars for a pretty good fight. Even though we're, like... I want to say halfway down our health thing, we still have a decent clip to give to, or at least something good to fight against good old Silver here. We may still accidentally murder in the first round. Uh, no, it looks like it'll survive to the second one. I don't know. If, I don't think we're going to win by decision. Uh, I think you're just going to end up killing yourself. Rip. Alright, so finally, I think what we want is the ninjutsu thing. Mimic techniques does seem really cool, you know, get us closer to Cobra Strike, but uh, let's just get this now because it's, uh, it's passive. So every time we dodge, we get a chance to increase your agility. I'm sure that that's just an increase your agility in the round. I don't think that's going to stay with us. That would be really stupid. Like, a good kind of stupid. A, a stupid that I'm not going to say no to, but like, that's kind of stupid. Uh, yes. Now we've, it's good that we've maxed this out because now we can definitely just focus on making everything perfect. But really, right now, I guess we should focus on uh, eating a little bit, making sure we're up to snuff. Now, uh, let's you know, do a commercial. Probably also don't want to travel anywhere because we'll have stupid amounts of money just to throw around. Uh, but the stupid amount of money we probably are going to try and turn into things to... Like, I really would like this, uh, this reward. But it's, it's tough. And considering that the last one, was, it went from 50 and 10, or 10 and 50, rather, to 20 and 100, it's probably just going to go 30, 150, then 40, 200, which is like, fine, I guess, but probably not, like, we could just work on it rather than wait for the passive. I'm a sucker for passive, you just saw my weakness there, but uh, I don't think we need to worry about it too awful hard. 
So instead, uh, let's, yeah, let's throw a party. Let's pump up the jams. Pump it loud while we can. That's the only part I really know. Are we actually going to be able to complete it? No. Do we have any coffee? Do we have any just like cocaine in the fridge? It's, you know, if we're going, if we're continuing this rocky phase, we might as well just like get in Scarface or something. Shoot, I don't know. We uh, finished that off looking pretty good here. Um, not. I'm not looking happy, or not, I'm not feeling happy about wanting to do this. Let's let's experiment in love, which usually ends badly for like both us and our prostate. But instead, let's just you know, hey, now that I've given you a gift, you just want to fall in love. All right, maybe chatting is now more of a uh, mood thing. I don't know. Certainly, it certainly doesn't hurt, I'm sure, to, to do some chatting, you know? And, and I'm not, I'm not a, a, a doctor man of love, but I have pretty much got the entirety of the uh, Strongbed email love poems down. Did you know that, uh, that writing a love poem is just as easy as telling a girl she's hot with the most fanciest of words? Uh, then I, I don't remember any of the candle. I mean, no, 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 he just says, hey, use uh, scented candles to write a poem basically for you. But all I can really remember is just, and your nose like an emergency candle for when the power goes out. Uh, everything you can get Elizabethan or Kim Burleyan, I early burly on the girly whirly, Meredithian if you're, if you're really so inclined. But that you know, what's important is that we're in love, and in the end, isn't that all that matters? Uh, what also matters is that we, you know, our health is up to snuff. And we could pretty much be ready to get into our next big alien fight, but unfortunately, I don't know if we'll be able to muster up more than that for this thing. We're worried. I can, I can understand, like, we're... We're definitely trying to build up the scale here, uh, and it makes sense. Because we're going, probably should have done it then. I was gonna look at the fight chart again. I don't know. Who Modern Mike uh, is referencing, or if it's just like a Magic Mike thing, or if it's just an ambulance doing its call signs way too early in the morning. Uh, maybe it's just that I'm up way too early in the morning. Yeah, we we could argue that for a while, nonetheless. Uh, but like looking at our guys, I think we're gonna fight. Fei Long, or Bruce Lee. Uh, these guys pretty rank up fairly well. I don't know, at the same time... Oh, okay, I was about to say, this dude's got 20 agility, that's stupid. I've got 20 agility. <laughs> uh, but that's a different type of thing. It's weird that the, none of these are actual hot okay. <laughs> like, been wouldn't have been that surprised. Oh my. That's a, that's some lore loving. Uh, but yeah, we're building up there, and then we have to get to the island thing. So it's probably not going to be as easy as one episode per fight. Uh, so I think we're just gonna, we're we're gonna try our darndest. You can be, you can be sure of that. You can, you can, you can. What what am I saying? Right? What I'm saying right now is we need to fight these aliens. Alien, you're going down. No, really, alien, you're go you're going down. You do it. Do the thing where you go down. Go down, please. See, the reason I'm kicking you is because I want you to go down. So just do it, please. <laughs> is there such a thing as the seven golden letters in this game, or maybe five? I don't know. 
I, I don't remember why. I don't, well, never mind. I don't have to worry about it. I think it's just a matter of in Tekken, if you win with like 5% of your health, you get a great, which is five golden letters. Uh, but of course, in many fighting games, if you get that P, uh, perfect. That is seven letters, but someone, when they got a perfect, the commentator was just like, seven or five golden letters. It, it just kind of stuck. Holy crap, this man made up for all the wrongs that the other dude, like, wrought. Come on, me. Get, a, get your act together. This man is dancing circles around you. Proverbial ones, because he's really just sitting in the same spot the whole time. Which, like, if we're being honest there, that, that makes this fight even worse. You're just letting a man who does not seem to change his tactics at all just stomp all over you. Granted, I guess we don't really change our tactics up, because we're still just also standing there. It makes me a little scared to continue on. Uh, but we have the option to take the money and run uh, Steve Miller style if, if this one goes well. Maybe it's the fact that we had these, or we're now working with these things. I believe this one has just a little less uh, of a hit chance than the other one. I don't know, it was, it's 132. I think the other one was like 123. Hey you, what you, what you got? 135. That's not really that much of a difference, but it sometimes it does. I mean, you've seen Chroma Squad. Okay, please. <laughs> if you've seen Chroma Squad, where like I go, oh yeah, like a 75% chance to hit the uh, to hit the enemy mech. That seems pretty fair, and it still misses. I just like shudder in disbelief. So hopefully. Uh, gosh. Mm, I'm gonna wuss out. It's a shame. Uh, how much do we? I know the next fight is not right now. I'm, I wish I could remember how much, because I think that's an even split. But just we get points for the two. I feel like it it doesn't work or it wouldn't work that way all the time. That wouldn't make sense. Why would why would we just go like Hey, we get a thing instantly. Mm. Nonetheless. None in all the less. This crutch word will never escape my vocabulary. It'll sink its teeth into my soul. Uh We should take this and then take that just so we can, uh, cause if we do this and that, uh, opposite, which kind of, I don't think there's an overflow. It's basically what I'm trying to say. It's just the words aren't getting out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off my tongue, words. What else was there? Like, cereal? Not likely. I should actually check. Worry about that in a second. Is there any coffee in this fridge? Yes. So I don't always hit that. It's like the mood thing. Uh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, it's okay. That's a much better proposition than what was initially offered to me. But it looks like we're not going to be able to get the next one until we get to the next rung. Uh, but 240 per day is much better than the 150 and whatever we were having before. Did it switch around though? Because I'm pretty sure we started with the ten, with the with the fame and then got into the money. You video game, stop making up things like you have the ability to. Like it's your own video game, and you know you can do what you want. It's my money, and I need it now. No. It that's not what we're doing. Uh, it's been two days, right? Like we can we can take that fight. That would be an okay. <laughs> a, th a three round alien battle sounds like sounds perfect. 
Uh, we don't really need that much. I just need a little bit of energy uh, to get in here and pound on this stuff. I don't think we're going to be able to do that much, though, now that I thought about it. It's probably just going to be another 19 and 6. Should we try for a 19 and 7, then, if, we're, if we know we're not going to get to a 20? Because, I don't know, we probably aren't going to be able to beat either timer here. No timer scams being done. But, I suppose we can at least try. We can't get more higher than, more higher. We can't get it higher than 9, so it might not be a bad idea to just get to 9. A 19 and 9 is probably pretty good, too. Uh, probably a 19 and 7 would be fantastic. Uh, but we have not the means to work. Uh, I don't think, because the way that it locks us in, I don't think we're going to have all the time for that. So instead, let's shoot this. Mm. <laughs> One more mm for the for the camera. Uh, mm, we have so much chicken and, like, caviar. Especially considering how last time we kind of screwed up everything. And, uh, it, really more because it's just RNG, but how that went bad. It wouldn't be bad to overflow and just... I mean, now we're stuffed. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm, there's, like, there was a mod for Skyrim that had added in hunger to make at least food a little more uh, worthwhile. And subsequently also just survival mode and Fallout and Hardcore and New Vegas. Um, and I'm just thinking, like... You can just kind of like keep eating until you hit the zero point, but the zero point is just like, yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm really happy that there, or because if I was making a mod, I don't know if I would go. Yeah, this seems like a perfect time to go. Hey, let's add a like bloated feature. Oh, you ate too much, and it's not like I guess you could eat something or not eating something is kind of what the entire problem was. You, I've got an issue with you that you ruined me last time, so let's try not to do that this time. I guess take a pill or something. But if it works like Fallout 4, where it's like every time you take medicine, you're thirsty again. So you take the medicine, you're thirsty. Drink the dirty water, and then you got an infection again. Take the medicine, then you're thirsty again. The cycle never ends. But thankfully, uh, looks like we're doing a little better. As soon as I was about to say, Hey, it looks like we're getting a little farther in this match. The game just like definitely started hitting the guy, hitting me, rather, I guess, a lot harder. Thankfully, this is no pain station, it's just a uh, punch club. And thank goodness, you know, with this VR thing going on, it's like, I don't think it's a matter of time. I, I don't believe that we're going to get stuff that's like intentionally hurt yourself because it's kind of funny no that's not that's not gonna happen there i mean there is the pain station but that's almost kind of an art piece for really getting down to brass tacks no i don't i don't think there's gonna be any sort of die in the real world dying or die in the game die in real life uh ruling for a video game unless it's like an old lady who is so shocked by the realism that she just straight up heart attacks. I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet, in all honesty. But instead, let's worry about this. This fight, if this fight goes well, I'm kind of curious to see what our next big match is. It would be really sucky if the, you know, you kind of got into this greedy mode. It, it is a matter of greed versus uh, uh, practicality, I guess, of what I can do and what I like to do. But man, wouldn't it suck if just that last alien fight after you go, yeah, I'll take it, is just some 99 roided monster. All right. Uh, it's like, 
No, no, I, I'm, I'm gonna wuss out again. But this time we get a good amount of money and uh, rewards there. Which puts us uh, not at odds to get that, but at odds to do pretty well to things. So this has been, you know, a training montage, an alien crushing episode of Punch Club. And if you enjoyed my horrible ramblings, I don't expect you to, but if you did, hit the like button. Uh, and if you want to see more stuff that hopefully is less rambling, uh, that, you know, this Punch Club saga has been through some storied stuff. So you probably want to check all that out. If you want to see more things like that, you want to subscribe to me, Maelstrom Tier. Uh, otherwise, I will just see you next time on the battlefield of kicks and punches. What? What? That's that. I'm sorry. That's 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 pathetic. <laughs>